Today I'm working on uh, shipping a bunch of stuff with eBay. We have everything set up here. This is our uh, the Mylar. We cut it into strips. I got probably four or five hundred bags uh, of these, and they're from uh, an old. I got it from a storage room for uh, cleaning. I guess it was when I was cleaning out the storage room. These were for a food company for sending food, like mailing frozen food. So I don't know, it just works perfect as a uh, padding for the eBay packages. I do use the jeweler's cabinet here um, to organize everything for for eBay. So that's the waiting payment drawer. This is active. The dog and cat drawer. I think we got all these dogs and cats at the tractor show. It's just, <laughs> it's one of those drawers that just makes you smile whenever you open it up. I really like this guy. Now, let's see. This one is uh, ready for pictures. Oh yeah, my. These are all the better things that I have put aside to start listing. Like this this week, I need to go. Uh, I'm gonna go s set up at the flea market on. Uh, I guess t tomorrow. So later on, I'm gonna have to go get uh, load the truck. And uh, but it's that time of year where a little extra money is definitely gonna help. So probably pull some of the better uh, items out of these drawers for uh, for listing. This looks like, I can't tell if this is cherry amber or not, but it sure looks like it is. Another set of Bakelite beads. Just lots of jewelry to be listed. Active right now, um, I, have, I have the blue car, the bag, this is that uh, little showcase. I figured put some of the things that I like looking at in there. This is probably one of the coolest pins I got right now up. It has, uh, it's all riveted together. It's hand wire wrapped. It's mixed metal. It's just, I don't know, to me it's really done well. I don't know who did it, but there's no, uh, no sig signature on it that I can see. I just like, I like things that are riveted. Definitely gives it a good look. Uh, what else we have? These are the packages that packed already. Um, the key collection. I figure once I fill this all the way up, then I might start selling keys. Definitely uh, try to put all the barrel keys or the, the oddballs that I've gotten there's a lot of brass keys in there. The my jewelry uh, fixing tools. I use uh, I use these to repair a lot of the stuff. Um, this drawer is full of inventory to list on eBay. It's got all the lucite uh, pieces. This is all the cool damascene. Uh, pins. This is actually, there's some good money in here. This stuff's been bringing, it's been fairly collectible recently. These are all new old stock that's on uh, on cards. Here's a cool dragon. Pretty awesome. This is just jewelry supplies. Oh, the cameo, uh, you can see all the different cameos, but just have like hundreds of them from uh, this one clean out that I did earlier this summer. Early comic books. Blue site. Oh, it's mostly empty. I love this lamp. Um, I got that 
from one of the cleanouts also earlier this uh, this year, and I got the bronze uh, things that kind of just wrap around it. You can see how much snow we got uh, yesterday. It was about an inch and a half here. Sorry for some of the people who got a ton of it. Oh, these are all my sterling silver pins. This guy's very looks very George Jensen with the flowers and the abstract. Just doesn't have a signature that I see. But I know that I think I should probably put up a good good lot of uh, sterling silver too, just because they tend to do fairly well. Also, uh, awesome pair of scissors. This was from that bag of buttons that I got the other day. Uh, for ten dollars, but in there there was this little. Uh, I guess it's for making small uh, crochet or uh, like a really fine uh, stitch. But it's just they're just really cool. The button hook. Uh, what else do I have? Been I have a ton of watch parts. I think I know where a box of pocket watch parts are to to list, but these gears have been uh, selling well f for me online. And uh, my marbles to go through with the dirty sock. This is all my repair stuff that I have to one day sit down and work on. Did pretty good with the hankies, but they just, you know... I just haven't gotten a chance to do do them, even though there's some good Christmas ones in here. I probably should try to put those up. Uh, there, there's a poinsettia one right here. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of buttons. All this in here is uh, our pins to be listed. There's probably about 50, uh, 50 pins per tray, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe 70 pins per tray, because the top one definitely has a lot of them. Um, but I look at it as that's mostly the pins for one week. Um, what else do we have? More pins to sort. This is all uh, stuff that's photoed photoed to be less and then these are pins to be sorted just because you have to check the the hardware make sure everything is in working order you don't want to have a return because something's messed up uh, I'm trying to think I guess that's about it for right now in the eBay room I'm gonna keep on uh, packing packages and uh, get to uh, I gotta go load the truck for the warehouse so hopefully you thought this was interesting so got all the packages done it took about two and a half hours to pack everything the bad thing is it's still kind of icy um, it'll be interesting if there's uh, Actually, it's one of the better times to go to the market. I don't think there'll be as many vendors set up, so I think I'm going to go pack the truck. Definitely. Uh, I definitely have a lot of inventory for uh, for this winter. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all that at uh, in my eBay room, so definitely we'll uh, make it through the winter hopefully pretty good. I don't know if I'll ever have time to list everything I got. So, all right, I'm gonna drop all this stuff off. I gotta figure out what I wanna take to the flea market tomorrow um, from the warehouse. I do have a couple boxes picked out. I mean, it's always a good day to make make a little bit of money. This is the rear light to a motorcycle, but I have a couple
couple of this is a little cast iron pan I actually make some cool molds probably would make a good belt buckle almost out of the bear a mork doll oh, these always sell well um, fireman patches that should bring like 15 20 bucks i'm trying to make like uh four or five hundred dollars tomorrow at the flea market so to get uh enough stuff together normally you have to bring over a thousand dollars worth of inventory to get close to that i think this stuff will sell pretty well though I'm trying to think what's in this box Saddle golf ball labeler. It's a cool pin. I think this is some type of tool set. Yeah, I think that tap set will sell. Oh, there's so much stuff at the warehouse though. I have it mostly organized to things that I can make money off of. Um, I kind of like the dinosaurs, but these uh, boots I think would sell fairly well. Yeah, I'm going to put them in with this. I think I want to try this on eBay though. Take that whole box though. Should have a lot of decent things in there. There's another pair of good boots right there. Maybe I'll take this box instead. Put these boots. This awesome light in there. Those would do good for him field too, but I don't think there's I think the rest of that box is mostly costume jewelry. So save that. All right, I'm going to put this in the truck. I kind of want to keep the dragon for right now. I have all these pocket watch movements and watch parts, but I I think I want to try those on uh, as a lot online. So I guess I should put that with my eBay lots. Some of my... Uh, G.I. Joe figures. I actually have to send that to a friend of mine. I told him I would put together some G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, trains, cameras. I think that's uh, an Argus top view. Is that another Argus or is that a Browning? this is a browning oh no it's a two argus's so i think i think those will do well i'm gonna save the pewter for taking to broomfield this isn't the good one i don't think it's just a regular stethoscope but i think this box is probably pretty good for the market probably another forty dollars fifty dollars worth of stuff I think I need to find a couple high ticket items. The I would say with we got one, two this is probably two hundred dollars worth of stuff. And the really nice boots with the light. So I'm gonna go with we have four hundred dollars worth of stuff. <sighs> Trying to think what I can grab that would bring uh, a little bit more money. Da, da, da. I don't really want to take anything off my shelf right now. Granted, this thing's kind of cool. But there's really no space for it for me. Almost, it's like Calder, uh, Calder-esque. 
I'll grab that. Call that a $60 bill, $50 bill. I do have, I think where I'll make it is with some art. I have this Picasso, uh, I guess it's like a litho. That has to be at least a hundred bucks, if not more. So that's 500 bucks. This is like a little, it's almost like a shelf. This is made in, I guess, Germany. I don't know, it's weird because the whole thing's finished on both sides. Maybe it's like a little work, uh, like a sewing table, lap table. I think that's probably 40 bucks. Sorry, it's going to get dark for a second. I know where a couple, uh, Grab this painting. That painting and this fan is actually really cool. One of the cooler things I found. Uh, I think that would would sell fairly well. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to pick from though. All right. I'm going to show you this fan in the light. This oil painting, I don't think it's going to bring a lot of money. Probably uh, 20, 30 bucks, but the fan is in good condition. It's probably uh, from the, from like 1910, maybe older. Figure, I'm trying to figure out what else I could take <laughs> I think if I can find one more good picture or piece of art that should be because I we don't spend that long there on Wednesday normally the market's over by 10 or 11 and actually flower pot and the duck I think this was I wanted to say it was Weller but I guess not this is all for uh, that's from the storage room that's going to go to uh, probably like Meadowlands or Columbus Probably could sell some of the stamp books. They're not that great, but the first day covers. I don't know. That's well, from that house clean out in Princeton, but I, I like that one, so I'm going to keep it. I know this; these old overalls would sell pretty well. But I'll save that for Brimfield. I think I'm going to take the doll home just to put. I was thinking I wanted to keep it, or the mannequin. I wanted to keep that in at my house instead of the warehouse. I found a place for it on my shelf. But I'm not going to sell that at the market. It's kind of interesting, they uh, doubt everything together and the head is carved out of one single piece of wood. So, so are the feet, the feet are all uh, feet and hands, it's not, definitely, definitely pretty cool. I should almost put a seatbelt on you. Um, maybe this picture. Might sell tomorrow. It's upside down. You can see it's a bottle. But 
I don't know. I think I'll try that. Put that on top of everything in the in the truck. And uh, I think I have a decent load. I forgot I had these art books in here. And those always sell for at least a hundred bucks, like a, a box. So, yeah, it's feeling like we're still a little light. Did get, uh, I forgot about that cool key that was in there that I got that day. This copper, uh, copper bowl and the ice tongs might sell. Put the key in my key collection. I think I need one more box of uh, I wish uh, video games sold well at the flea market. Um, well they do sell well at the flea market but not at the antique flea market. They sell better at, uh, I think Columbus and stuff like that. I think we'll try these two. Got the doll and underneath the doll are the antique lights that I, I got a while ago. So. nice to get everything packed while it's still light. And it's next, I thought it was going to be a lot colder today. All right, I guess that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys thought the eBay room was interesting and uh, I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. So everybody later. If you guys haven't yet, please, uh, I don't know, subscribe. Peace.